You know, three Rochester Middle School students are getting quite the acknowledgement. They were chosen as semifinalists for the fifth annual Broadcom Masters. It's a competition that focuses on science, technology, engineering, and math. ABC 6 News reporter Carson Forsman met with the students and has our story. So my first reaction, I was really excited. My first reaction was to call my parents and tell them. For these three Rochester students, they are experiencing quite the recognition. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the chance, even having a small chance of being able to go um, maybe even nationally and compete is, is, would be very cool. Each of them has engineered their own projects to compete nationally at the Broadcom Master's Science Competition. In my project, I studied the different variables in an electromagnetic regenerative shock absorber that can be used in cars to convert the vibration energy produced into electricity. 300 semifinalists make up the competition, and for Andrew Egerbrodden, you can call his project RoboHand. They have all these great limbs. There's so many functions of them, but they don't know how a person without a limb is going to be able to control it. So I, I, was, I tried to think of different ways to and brainstorm, and I thought of why not you can tell it what to do. So speech recognition. At 14 years old, Angelie says she already has plans to study science with her project testing anti-cancer agents. Be a possible preliminary way of testing cancer drugs before you move on to live animals or human beings. In Rochester, Carson Forsman, ABC 6 News. <laughs> Pretty smart students. 30 finalists are going to be named on September 2nd. The top place winner will receive the prize of $25,000. We hope to keep you posted.